Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTaker. In this video, I'm going to compare the Battlegrounds mobile game 2.0 default graphics settings comparison between ICO 9 SA device versus Realme GT 2 device. Let's find out friends what are the default graphics and uh, which one has got what type of advantage while playing at 90 FPS. So that's what I'm going to demonstrate in this video right now. So let me enable the ultra game mode. Yes, ultra game mode has been enabled successfully. So let's see friends what's happening here between these both phones you got in the 90 fps support test so after this battlegrounds mobile game 2.0 i'm getting so many comments asking me to upload side by side video so you guys can actually understand what's happening with the default graphics that's the reason i thought of uh, doing a video on this topic and is the graphic settings you can clearly see friends there is no 90 fps in the ico 9 sa device balanced HDR and hdr and extreme ultra hd is also supported so friends, there is no 90 fps but you will be able to play at 60 fps there is one more quick note in this icon and sc there is a special feature which is called the game frame interpolation by using this game frame interpolation you can actually boost the fps from 60 to 90 that's possible in the icon and sc now it's kind of gameplay is pretty smooth i did not have any kind of much problem while using with the game frame interpolation but right now in the realme gt2 you can see smooth and extreme settings balanced extreme hd and extreme hdr and extreme ultra hd you can use that to play but overall these are the few default settings you can actually get in the realme gt2 device so definitely friends in terms of 90 fps maybe the ico 9 sc might have a slight advantage because you can use the game for interpolation to boost slightly fps and not only that sometimes you might be able to face the like issues regarding the gameplay issues sometimes not every time sometimes but after the battle against mobile game 2.0 update the problem little bit kind of fixed in the icon and sc yes and that's what i did notice because before i i did feel a lot of lag but right now it's it was kind of playable at this moment in the icon and ac device still so sometimes you may notice some kind of lag as well using with the game flow interpolation sometimes the way i'm trying to notice it at this moment but you don't feel that kind of lag because you don't have that kind of game flow interpolation sometimes a little bit if you use a game flow interpolation there might be some kind of problem and regarding the other things like gyro sensor let's see yes let's enable and let's check what's happening with the overall settings you can see the gyro sensor delay You can see friends overall gameplay how it is in the icon and sd device so definitely friends if you don't use a game for interpolation you will be having very good experience like very smooth experience but if you start using the game for interpolation sometimes you may feel some lag sometimes you will definitely feel that kind of lag using the game for interpolation this is a quick comparison friends between these both phones you got in the default graphic settings so if you want 90 fps maybe in the future there is chance that icon and sc might get 90 fps but i cannot guarantee that definitely that's not in my hands right so that's it friends thank you for watching this is a quick comparison between these both phones right now regarding the icon and sc and the realme gt2 device even the realme gt2 device it was kind of a pretty smooth experience while gaming not bad so meanwhile sending off friends thank you for watching i'll learn straight of more updates and this is a quick default graphics settings comparison between these both smartphones so meanwhile sending off friends thank you for watching i'll learn straight of more updates and bye